rise. Judge Kendall presiding. You may be seated. Gentlemen, all the evidence in this case indicates to me that your true motive was the most common of all motives for crime, and that is greed. And despite all of the media and public attention that this trial has received, today here in my courtroom, you are nothing more than a bunch of common criminals. And for that reason, I intend to make it very clear here today that even rising star athletes are not above the law. When I call your name, would you please stand? too much. Always trying to act like a gangster. Thanks, dog. Man, what, what you doing? Come on, dude. Thanks, dog. Every type of up show make the lady say, king of my castle. Cause and much. You dumb shrimp, wimps, it's you I tame. So to the all, to the old, to the... weekend. It was a time. See, that was good, though. That should keep... Oh, let's focus. How do we get a tie anyway? Well, the uh, score we had and the score the other team had wasn't the same. <laughs> now, I know your blonde ass ain't trying to be funny. Are right, y'all settled down? Everybody take a seat. When the bell rings, I will pass out your weekly grade reports. Derek, stop! No. Damn, Derek, let's go. Get off of me. Stop! Let's go. I know you see those people coming. Let's go. Move! Get back. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna tell her to lunch. That's in 10 minutes. I'm gonna holler at you later. <laughs> This the last time, for real. Hey, you know what they're having for lunch, though? Jay, you decided on the school yet? Not yet. Nope. Come on, fellas. I need something for the school paper. 
You should be able to see where they're going with the thick lenses you got on. <laughs> with your blind ass. you gave me the wrong grade. All right, well, let's see. <laughs> uh, here we go. Yeah, see, here it is. Uh, the third week, you failed to complete a homework assignment, so I've given you an NC. A what? NC. It simply stands for uh, not complete. So I didn't get a grade for the homework? Athletes don't get special treatment in my class. Special... I did the homework. But you didn't complete it. I just wanted you to know that whenever Derek is late, it is for a legitimate reason, okay? Whenever Derek's late? Yes, whenever Derek is late. Well, I don't get... Hey, Gary, how you doing? How you doing, Miss Oh, Evans? I'm doing just fine. Hey, let Derek know that I handled that for him, okay? Okay. Let him know that the money is under the bread box. Yes, right. ma'am. All right. Got gotcha. you. Well, I'll see you. All right. Okay, bye now. <laughs> okay, so we need... I mean, do you need a note from me or something? Tuna, so I got you turkey with peanuts on the side. I ain't ate peanuts since my days at PV. Yeah, bad luck, right? No, 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 I heard. Hey, remember when I hired you and you claimed to be an offensive coordinator? <laughs> yeah, you said, I sure hope you're not to stop a good offense because you now my defensive coordinator. <laughs> Look, coach. I know we can't expect to give up 24 points and win the game. And, and defense, defense wins championships. I know. Coach James, please report to the principal's office immediately. But do you know why? Oh, good afternoon, Coach James. How you doing? Just fine. Never expected to see that tie this past weekend. Uh, you know, a Dallas team hasn't won state in football since 1950. Have a good one, Coach. Whoa! Okay, who started it? I said who started it? It was an accident, coach. So how are you going to accidentally start a food fight? Oh, I thought you was talking about the fire alarm earlier. I don't have all day.
What's up, coach? See you watching game film. Look, I just wanted to apologize for the whole food fight incident and apologize for me and the other teammates. Son, do you know why we um, study game film? To find our mistakes. See what we do well and where we need improvement. Or to find the tendencies of our opponent, good or bad. You don't have the uh, luxury to rewind your life. So make good choices the first time. Any word back on that summer incident? Not yet. But you did do the homework. Yes, sir. And you didn't get a grade for it? As for now, I got a zero. Mr. Russo. I think it would be best if we have Gary taken out of Mr. Bates' class before it's too late. Well, now, we got a policy about letting students transfer to classes, especially this late in the six weeks. I definitely understand, but I'm asking you, please, to make an exception under the circumstances. Please. Wait, wait a minute. Where your money at home, boy? I got oh. something better than that. What the hell is that? Get out of jail, free call. Hey, you can get your hands down. Shoot the dice. told y'all, you do not shoot craps in my locker room. For all y'all who's shooting craps, y'all grab the dice and roll for your points. Say, Coach, I, I was just watching. Oh, you was just watching? Okay. Well, I'm gonna cut you a break. For those who just watching, y'all roll one dice. Uh-uh, Derek, uh-uh. Get your ass over there assume the position. I guess we're watching your practice. So what makes you all so good as a team besides your speed, of course? I'd say our discipline. As soon as those lights come on, only goal that we focus on is getting a W. Blue 80. Blue 80. What makes us so good? Me. Y'all, we know it's one speed. That's 100 miles per hour. <laughs> nah, let me stop playing. Competition. Everything we do, we compete. Every time we touch this football field, we compete, compete, compete. Nah, we don't take it easy during practice. Come on. <laughs> I mean, coach wants us to, but uh, nah. We're too busy trying to knock each other's heads off. Don't show your coverage. Don't show your coverage. There he is, there he is. Hey, hey now. What if somebody gets hurt? Hurt somebody else step up. That's the way it goes. That's it. All right, all right, Come on. Come on. 
Listen to me. Nothing worth having is going to be easy. You just can't show up and think, that's it. Ain't nothing free, fellas. Nothing. Now, it may appear that way, but don't be deceived. Coach, you got anything? Yes, sir, I do. I'm going to need my defense to stay with me at the close practice. Oh, all right, okay, okay, all right, listen. Make sure you stay out of trouble and be a leader, not a follower. All right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, come on, come on. Bring it in. Get in, get in, get in. All right, come Cowboys on. on three. One, two, three. Cowboys! Good job. Woo -hoo. Where my cowboys at? Where my cowboys? Listen up, listen up, listen up. Have y'all ever heard fans cheering? Come on, offense, hold that line. No, no sir. sir. Have you ever heard fans yelling, offense, offense, or holding some signs mess or some mess like that? No, no sir. sir. Derek, what they yell? Defense, coach. They yell what? Defense! Hey, yo, what? Defense! Have you ever heard offense win championships? No, no sir! Yes. Yes. Coach. Huh? What's up, Rock? Crowd don't get loud for the offense. It's a distraction. The quarterback gonna tell him to be quiet. No, 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 no. He all right. He all right. Come, come, come here, Rod. Come, come here. Now, you see that fence down there? Yes, sir. I want you to sprint, not jog. Sprint to that fence and find me a marble and do not come back until you do. You understand me? Yes, sir. Because your buddies here are going to be running until you get back. Oh. 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 Let's go! On the 50! You better run, boy! You won't be starting! On the 50, let's go! <laughs> Guys, the game is all about adjustments. Okay, now we win the game and we adjust to what they're gonna do before they even adjust to it. It's about adjustments, goddammit. What the hell did he just say? Man, he talking about adjustments and adjusting. We gotta adjust. So Watch him on this play. So we can adjust that ass. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Hey, come on, y'all. Derek, what's one point you want to share with the rest of the team? Coach, we just over here talking about adjustments. All right, let me worry about the adjustments. You worry about learning them. I'm going to let y'all go home early. Early? <laughs> Listen, when you guys go home tonight, make sure you get your rest. All right, quit chasing them girls all night. There's going to be plenty of time for that in college. All right, let's go. You okay? I think I'm losing them. You know, all these years, I've never seen you take a game so serious. It was only a tie, Freddy. Jesse's parents, they said he got probation for stealing that T-shirt. What? Football should... Football is supposed to build character. It's got to prepare these boys for life. I mean, that's why I do this. And you are doing a great job. Well, not if my boys are stealing T-shirts. It was during the summer. Look, you, you, you can't protect them forever. All you can do is instill good morals in them and hope that they stick. Is that enough? It's a start. What about state? State will take care of itself. 
You just make sure these boys have the best opportunity they can to further their education. For free. I always want something for free. Drives license and insurance, please. Go to high school. Sir. <laughs> well, I've been watching y'all since y'all were freshmen. <laughs> hey, we going to state this year? Oh, no yes, doubt. Oh, right. Sure. I'm sure happy to hear that because I'm going to be right up front, too. <laughs> but, man, I got to ask you a question. Now, what happened with Duncanville? Four thirty-eight. Show me in route code three. And hey, listen, I holler, Joe. Yes, sir. Slow this car down. Yes, sir. Going twenty miles over the speed limit. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good luck on the game this weekend. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. improvement program is set up to provide a productive educational opportunity for these students i'm not debating that sir i'm simply saying i've been using the same grading system for the last three years <laughs> calls for these kids to get a grade sheet every week. And I give weekly grade sheets. There ain't no way in the world you can give these kids a grade average using symbols such as NCs and check <laughs> $19.95. Sure. All right. I got you. How y'all want to do it? Go. No, I got you. Hey, what's up, fellas? What's up? How's everything going? Good. Hey, good luck in them playoffs this year. Yeah. My man, my man, check this out. We're going to do this one on the house. Oh, word? On the house. Yeah. My man. My man. Oh, yeah. Thank my man. You. Hey. My man. Hey. Man. 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 Hey. For sure. Hey. Enjoy. Enjoy. Hey. Bring us back that state championship. See. My man. Oh, That he passed. And who said he flunked him? The URL. 
Come here, come check this out, man. Come here. And listen to this right here. The Carter Cowboys, they've been disqualified from the playoffs for apparently using an ineligible player. And we're going to keep you up to speed, up to date on the latest information. I can see it as clear as the sunrise. Damn, I can feel it. It's standing right next to me. That's your report card? Let me see that. No, 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 Coach. Look, he did pass. He got a 72 in algebra. Gary, you changed the grade on that paper? Nah, Coach. That's the grade I got. Did someone else change the grade on that paper? Coach, that's my grade. Nobody changed nothing. Why the hell are they saying you failed then? Supposedly, the UIL received an anonymous letter saying he was ineligible. Oh, that's bullshit. He passed, goddammit. Hello. Yeah, this is he. Yeah. I see. Okay. All right. Thank you. Who was your algebra teacher? Mr. Bates at first. Then I transferred to Dr. Abby's class. Freddie, you need to eat something. They're gonna try their best to make sure we don't play. Can they really do that if he's past the class? They've been inducting an investigation, whatever that means. Maybe you always taught that defense does what? Hmm? Defense. Defense does what? Wins championships. Go. Coach, I don't think I heard that loud enough. Defense does what? Wins championship. Exactly. And as long as they're investigating, it ain't over. That fat lady ain't saying yet. Now you go on out there. And you defend your boys. And you win our state. You hear me? You guys just here? No problem. It was nearly an hour after the ruling by the commissioner in Austin that the official word reached Carter High School. Excuse me. Excuse me. Would you mind uh, giving a statement on the mood here at Carter High? It's crazy how even in 1988 racism still exists. So you think this has something to do with the school being predominantly black? I bet you if this school was mostly white, none of this stuff would even be happening. Well, if he didn't pass the class... How do you know he failed? So far, those are the reports that we've been receiving. Well, as far as I know, he passed. And those are the reports we've been receiving. Well, there you have it. Carter has, in fact, been forced to forfeit their final three games due to an ineligible player. That puts Carter out of the playoffs and South Grand Prairie in. They done it to us. This is the worst way to go out. They've we'll always been told if they can't beat you on the field, they won't beat you in the class or so. They can't do it. They wrong about it. I mean, I can do it the day before the game. That's all I understand. So what am I supposed to tell my boys? You say he passed. His report card shows he passed. But the UIL say he failed. After the UIL got its mysterious phone call... I thought it was a letter. In the beginning, it was a letter. 
there was a phone call, whatever, whatever it was. After that, Bates's records came through. Didn't he transfer out of Bates' class? Yeah, but then his records transferred with him. So, uh, so Abby has a 72, the UIL has a 68, and what does Bates have to say about all this? I said no comment. Mr. But is it true you alerted the UIL of the No, I, have, I said I have no comment. But Mr. Bates, don't you no believe comment. about your safety? What about repercussions from the students at Carter High? I am absolutely not worried about my safety. These are wonderful students, and I'm going to go to my door. Now, Mr. Russo has informed me that this matter is being taken up in the court. However, the DISD refuses to foot the entire bill. And there's a meeting tonight in the auditorium to discuss the options according to the uh, UIL we're not allowed to practice until they get this thing figured out so coach what are we supposed to do if we can't practice you stay focused you of all people you're a senior you stay focused And look here, don't let this obstacle make y'all lose sight of the real goal, which starts after you leave here. Champions. Champions. Champions this, champions that. Oh, they throw that word around nowadays like like it ain't no big thing anymore. Like it like like it ain't special. Well, god damn it, I'm telling you, it is special. It is a big thing. A champion walks onto this field and you can feel it. You can see it. A true champion is a champion in the heart. And that's something, that's something that nobody can ever take away from you. That's something that only you can give away. Okay, 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 listen. I understand everyone's frustration, but at this point, we're simply waiting for the district to give us the go ahead. Look, all I know is that these young boys should not be punished for some grown man mistakes. And as parents, we should make sure that doesn't happen. Well, you know what? No matter wherever the blame lies, there is not a child at Carter High School that is responsible for what happened. Nevertheless, it's the children at Carter who are being punished by DISD's failure to do what we pay them taxes to do. Okay, whoa, whoa. Un unfortunately, DISD is dropping the ball. But we're here tonight because we need to take legal action. And the sooner we get a restraining order motion filed, we can start with the proceedings. Oh, so what? You need some money? Hmm. I mean, so what is our guarantee that this legal stuff is going to work anyway? Right. The only guarantee I can give you is that my staff and I will fight as hard in the courtroom as those boys fight out on the field. That's the only guarantee that I can give. Whatever. This is my community too. And believe you me, it's not about the money. It's about those boys, those young men right there, knowing that their hard work wasn't in vain. And them knowing that they have a village that will come to their aid no matter what. That's what this is about. So all those in favor 
of seeking a temporary restraining order that would possibly allow Carter to remain in the playoffs. Stand up. And for the record, UIL stands for? University Interscholastic League. And what exactly do you do for the UIL, Mr. Winston? I investigate complaints related to the no pass, no play law in DISD. Okay. So is it fair to say that you received a complaint regarding Carter High School? That's correct. And when did you receive this complaint, Mr. Winston? At the end of the six weeks. Hmm. Well, if I am uh, correct, I believe that Carter was declared ineligible about four or five days after the end of the six weeks. So, four or five days, Mr. Winston? Yes, I, I believe that's correct. Hmm. And where, no, who did this complaint come from, Mr. Winston? Mr. Winston. Uh, well, sir, we, uh, <laughs> we normally don't reveal the source of our complaints. Oh, normally. Will you tell that to the Carter community and all these Carter kids Honor, who are being I affected object. by your hasty decision Counsel, to disqualify to their school? That's far from normal circumstances, sir. Counsel. Your Honor, we have reason to believe that the source may be the same Counsel. individual that we attempted to subpoena, but was you assured by the UIL and other you investigative you authorities that that would not court. be necessary. And further, Your Honor. You see all this coming with them big ass glasses you got on? <laughs> no, but I did see your Attention, girlfriend. Faculty and students, I've just been informed by the Dallas superintendent that our football team has been reinstated into the play. <laughs> congratulations to our football team and good luck in the play. check one of the students' algebra grade. He actually passed the class on his report card, but there was supposedly some kind of miscalculation due to him transferring from one class to another. As of now, Carter will be marching on in the playoffs. These reports are conflicting that uh, at this point uh, we need to turn the uh, investigation over for a hearing, that is, not an investigation, but a hearing uh, to the executive commission in Austin. And until that's resolved, Carter High School will retain their position uh, as a contender in the state uh, uh, tournament tonight. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from you. God is the king, the power, the Lord, forever. Amen. Edwards takes the pitch around the right end. He's inside the five-yard line. Touchdown, Cowboys. A spectacular flip into the end zone. All under center for the Cowboys. A little play action. He's looking down the right sideline. He's got a man open. It's Grant. He's to the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Cowboys. A rocket going on. Wildcats keep in their own territory. Quarterback number 12 back to pass. He rolls around the right end. He's looking down the field and it's picked off. Oh, got it. That's number two, Edwards. Money go, baby. Money go. Come on, baby. Bet that. Bet that. Bet that. Let me get this. Bet that. 
I'm gonna ask y'all one more time. Was it worth it? What are you doing that? It's just so nice. <laughs> no, you was gambling. <laughs> and gambling don't build character. Gambling makes you rely on luck or chance. Football ain't about relying on luck or chance. Football is about making good decisions, good choices on every single play. Now, if you can't learn that and apply it to your life, you wasting my time and your time. Why do you think we have a tie on our record? Because we have the same score as other team. Oh, no, no. The choices we made. Like you, Derek. You saw fit to hit a man when he was five yards out of bounds and give them excellent field position. Or you, Jay. When you chose to try to pick up a fumble instead of falling on it like we practice all the time. And you, son. You make a good play and then decide to celebrate for 15 minutes. That is what a tie is. All we need you to do is sign the affidavit. Look, Mr. Winston, this, this was not my intention. I, I simply confided in a friend about a conversation that I had with my boss. Right, and that conversation led to an investigation which I'm trying to conduct. An investigation? You had the school disqualified. What difference does that make to you? Now, you can sign the affidavit or I'll subpoena your ass to testify. Your choice. Okay, we, um, we're waiting on a phone call. So, uh, let's, uh, all right, everybody off the school bus. As of now, we've been declared ineligible again. And we're waiting on a phone call to see exactly what's going on. So, just hang out. Stay loose. What's going on? I thought we were checking out and going to the game. They just declared Carter High ineligible again. <laughs> you kidding me, right? I advise you to put that coffee down to help us prepare these motions. But the judge already ruled. Against the UIL. It's from the TEA. That's got to be like double jeopardy or something. All right, folks, we have exactly 45 minutes before the courts close. It's going to take us at least that amount of time to make it through traffic. I need at least three motions. And honestly, guys, I don't 
don't know what to expect when we get there. You mean if we get there? It's kind of hard to fight. You can't even identify your enemy. So we gonna, we gonna prepare a bullet for all their asses. All right. We're back in. The judge issued a temporary restraining order that will allow us to play. But the game is rescheduled till tomorrow. So go home and stay out of trouble. I'm heading to Austin for the hearing. But tomorrow is it. Tomorrow? We won't even get to practice because they keep kicking us out. Now they want to reschedule the game till tomorrow? Listen, you have every right to be upset. Man, come on, coach. But tomorrow night, there's going to be some people across the field where you can take that frustration out on. Especially that quarterback. I thought everything was taken care of. What's going on now? <sighs> this is what you call political football. So what's the adjustment? Yes, the adjustment is don't give them nothing they can use against you. Or better yet, stay out of politics. The hardest thing is not knowing if we'll be playing or not. I hate they have to go through this. You think the boy's gonna be okay? You know... Baby, on that field, they have this certain intensity in their eyes that I've never seen before. I mean, it's like they're, they're really locked in, focused. I mean, as long as they're on that field, baby, I mean, they're so good, it makes me nervous. State. 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 They'll beat the Dallas Cowboys where they playing. Give me some. Give me, give me, hit me again. Hit me. Okay, coach. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good to see you smile. Yeah. Man, did the atmosphere tonight. Everybody's ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready? Round two of the Texas State UIL football playoffs with the Carter Cowboys taking on Cross County rival Dallas Samuel. This looks to be a good one tonight. Edwards up the middle, he's pushing his way through. He hits a wall at the five yard line, but he breaks free. Touchdown, Cowboys! His feet never stopped moving. Edwards just powered his way through. It looked like he was he was down at the five, but he kept fighting his way, busted through, and touchdown, Cowboys. Right, the crowd is behind this Cowboy defense here as they're looking for a stop. Samuel quarterback under center. He looks out to the flats. The ball sit by Maston and finds the hands of Armstead. Armstead is down the sidelines and he's going to take it all the way. Woo! Tipped by Maston. Intercepted by Armstead like a thief in the night. Sweet Jesus, that boy can run. And touchdown, Cowboys. Jesse Armstead. Armstead has been the man on this defense all year long.
and heaven ring, ring with the harmony of liberty. Let all rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let us march on till victory is won. We got a letter from Notre Dame. It upsets me to see you go through all this. Because in my eyes, you're still my little baby boy. How's Gary doing? I know this is hard for you because it's hard for me and your father. But we're both here if you need anything. I keep thinking I'm gonna wake up and it's all just gonna be a nightmare. Everything happens for a reason, baby. Come on, let's get something to eat. takes on Marshall. It's going to be their biggest challenge of the year. All under center. Play action. Looking down the left sidelines. He's got Grant. And it's caught. Ooh -wee. Laid that ball in his arms like a daddy laying the sun down for now. Fourth down for Marshall, and this could be their final play of the season. Quarterback drops back. He's looking down. He's got Odell Beckham, and it's caught. Wow, what effort. Touchdown, Marshall, and the tide has just changed. After a big return by Grant, the uh, Cowboys' backs are against the wall. After three unsuccessful tries, they're facing fourth down with under 30 seconds to go, trailing 18 to 14. Okay, Cowboy fans, it all comes down to this. It's fourth down. Call back to pass. He's got Allen across the middle. Allen's to the sidelines. He's down the left sidelines, and he could go all the way in the end. Waiting on the call for the rest. He's in. He's in. Yes. And he's going to be ruled out just shy of the goal line. Come on, ref. Come on. Come on, bring it in. Everybody bring it in. Ready to go. Go. I'll catch you. Sure will. And look, regardless of what happens on this next play, we had a hell of a season. A great season. But you know what? We've always had a great season. So right now we all got a choice to make. I want y'all to know there's this little thing called uh, destiny. And you don't get it by like sitting around waiting for it. It doesn't come to you by chance. It's a matter of choice. It's something you got to go out and get.
So what you waiting for? Go on, get it. What is this? Armstead is running onto the field. Armstead is lined up and tied in. Hall back to pass and catches Armstead across the middle. Touchdown, Cowboys! They've done it again. Jesse Armstead, All-American linebacker, checks in and tied in. Hall drops back, runs a little tight end dump, and the Cowboys are on their way to the semifinals. A district judge has blocked the Texas Education Agency Commissioner from determining Carter's eligibility. He's also stopped the UIL from knocking Carter out of the playoffs. That should be a lot for a team that since the beginning of the playoffs has not known if they are in or out. And we're live from Darrell K. Royal Memorial Stadium in Austin, Texas for this state 5A semifinal game between the Odessa Permian Panthers and the Carter Cowboys. You know, I heard from a little birdie that Odessa was trying to persuade Coach James to play this game in Odessa. Hall spins away from a tackle. He's got Jones down the left sidelines. And Jones scampers into the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys. And it's blocked. Oh, he blocked it. And there's a scramble for the ball. Get it. Somebody jump on it. And it's going to be Panther ball. Cowboys inside the red zone. Hall looks across the middle, and he's got Grant. Touchdown, Cowboys. The Carter Cowboys on their way to their first ever state championship. After a 14-9 victory over 5A powerhouse Odessa Permia, the Cowboys are moving into the state championship to face Converse Judson. Fellas, this it. For seniors, it's our last chance, last opportunity. Yeah. Like Coach James said, we worked hard for this. We earned this. This all, not there. Let's go get what belongs to us. Damn the GEA, yeah. Damn the UIL, yeah. And damn them fools across the field from us. Hell yeah! Cause tonight is our time. in this nonsense. Everybody in Dallas yelling that mess. You knew what the hell they were saying. Man, red dogs on three. One, One two, two, three. Red, red dogs! Yes. 
The Dallas team has not won the state championship since 1950. Feeling proud right about now. Cause we, we went through some hard times to get here. Feeling proud. We knew if we kept playing football that we would be here. But we didn't know about all of you out here stuff. That's the only thing that kept us out of here, you out here. Now we're here and we did just thinking about it, having some fun and <laughs> I'm ready to just jump on top of the building and hang from up there right quick. CC, two, 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 I just want to say this, as that clock was counting down, I realized what I wanted out of coaching after all these years. And this championship means a lot, but what I want, what I need. is for you all to leave here and be successful. Be successful in every endeavor of your lives. Now listen to me, boys. This is not the end. This is just the beginning. And I want to... thank you from the bottom of my heart so champions on three one two three, three. Whoa, 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 coach. come on in no come on in come on in thank you thank you thank you listen listen boys this gentleman this gentleman right here fought for us in the courtrooms so we could continue to fight on the field. Yeah. Please. Guys, if fighting for what's right is the goal of team sports, and you all have accomplished that goal. To see so many young men face and overcome the adversity that you all have is nothing short of a miracle. You all have made so many people proud, including myself. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Carter High, thank you for a hell of a season. A hell of a season! Yeah! Okay, I would like to say on behalf of Carter High and the Carter High football team, thank you, okay? And from one great defense to another defense, I would like to present you with the game ball. Wow! Yeah. 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 Oh, no, hold on, oh, no, 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 you gotta join us. Come on, Russ. He gonna catch up with us at the graduation. Tweedle D. Man, you sure Vincent's still here? Yeah, that fool come right now. Hey, fool. What, what up, up, D? What up? What's up, babe? Man, I know one of y'all finna get out the car and get this food. You gonna take our order? You paying? 
Japan. Exactly. Get out the car and get the food, man. Hollywood D. <laughs> Hollywood, <laughs> baby. Ooh. Ooh. Grateful ass, man. <laughs> oh, season over with, fella. So this uh, fringe benefit stuff gonna have to cease. You know we appreciate you, dog. Friend benefits. That's a difference. <laughs> Whatever, man. Same thing. I'm trying to tell you. I'll be trying to tell the GEO, listen up. <laughs> All right. Y'all believe we actually want to stay, though? Damn. Little Lowe, you gonna have to hold up, Ike, because you messing up my concentration. They still treat me like a celebrity up there, Jack. Oh, for real? Man, will y'all please shut up? He actually got robbed the other day. They took money from everybody up there except me. Oh, for real? I see you're on that pool table again. Hey, dinner's almost done. Ready, and you're welcome to stay. Oh, okay. Thank, thanks, thanks, Miss Campbell. Uh, say, say, Mama, you uh, you got twenty dollars I can borrow. Boy, what did you do with your allowance? Shut up. <laughs> you, you done? No, I got, I got some new pants. Cash only, home boy. None of them pink passes, man. You know? well, shit, I can take a couple of those, man. Your ass got some money? I mean, not right now. Right. Like, That's what I thought. Yeah. Oh, man, y'all, y'all, bro. I got robbed and got more money than both of y'all. <laughs> man, whatever, P.K. <laughs> Say, man, is y'all hiring up there? Man, I doubt it. We got enough fools up there getting paid to do nothing, man. But I can hook y'all up, bro. Man. <laughs> man, dog, somebody gonna blast your ass for real. You keep running around with that little toy. Yeah, this toy can get your ass paid. Hey, man, PK, you crazy, man, for real. Um, it's like you, you talking about robbing. Kinda. Oh. Kinda? Are you robbing me? Well, you're not robbing me. You robbing the store. Oh, man. <laughs> Hell no, PK. <laughs> That shit's stupid, man. That shit dumb, man. Nah, man. Nah, you stupid dog for real. And I'm telling you, this shit's easy. Two to three minutes. In. Out. Your ass back in there, don't say a word. <laughs> hey man, PK, chill out, buddy. Find out you win on this, man. What you doing? <laughs> What's up with the pantyhose? I told y'all they were stocking caps, man. <laughs> hey, PK, for real, man. This is your bright okay, ass okay, idea. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, man. For real, man, come on. Y'all show is taking a long time getting this place cleaned up. Maybe if we had a little help, 
Anytime the manager leave, you act like you can't do nothing. But eat them damn fries. Nigga, you ain't nothing but a shift manager. Which means when the manager's gone, I'm in charge. As a matter of fact, since day one, day one, you been fucking up. Get your ass on the goddamn ground! Uh oh, uh oh, you, you get your ass up, big boy. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm just uh, uh my... in charge. Yep, Mr. H and I C. I'm just, I'm just the shift manager. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Now sit your ass over there and put the money in the goddamn bag. Come on, hurry up! Come on, big boy. Yeah, on the there too. Come on. Come on! Yeah, on the there too. Come on. Come on, big boy. Forget your wig on the ground! Don't stop moving. Come on. Carter Cowboys won the state championship a month ago, and you could have held a convention on the sideline of the Cowboys practice field. That's where recruiting coordinators gather daily to catch a glimpse of the team that could produce more recruits than any other team in the state of Texas, maybe even the nation. This year's Carter team appears ready to climb the ladder of success. That leaves only one thing left to say. This is a class by itself. Told y'all, just like clockwork. Man, Keith, how long you been working here? <laughs> About a week. <laughs> Say so y'all go ahead and get suited up. Last time, I ain't. I'm taking this shit way too far, man. <laughs> All right, I wear your jacket till last period. I'm a little cold. I ain't even tripping, baby. <laughs> Thanks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Oh, I was just uh, admiring the jacket. Mm. Is that all? Yeah. I was wondering if there was any more room for me in those jeans. <laughs> Maybe. Damn! Damn! It's like that. Must be the shoes. <laughs> oh, my God. What the? Hey, I just want to know, is there any room for me in these jeans? And I was wondering if you ever heard of a peppermint. <laughs> Say it all. I guess well, that's the shoes here. Yeah. Hey, it's all good, dog. Real <laughs> talk, man. I'm not even I did, dog. <laughs> Rep me, dog. Nice Christmas? What you mean, nice Christmas, dog? Man, what you talking about? 
Thought you knew, man. Knew what? No less than 18 Carter football players are headed to four-year colleges or universities on full scholarship. Just one more area where no other high school can beat Carter. I, I, I almost got you. You couldn't keep up. What? Nah, you couldn't keep up. I ain't gonna never let no old man get me. Who you call an old? Come on, baby. Come on, I still got it. Shoot. Old man, old truck. <laughs> That's what you think. That was a damn good workout. Appreciate you. You know why we come out here? Not only does it make us better athletes, but it makes us better men. Now, you made your choice when you decided to suit up and play for the Carter Cowboys. I don't know. I guess what I'm saying is... Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you didn't have football, what would you be doing? in the truck. You want the receipt in the bag with the pie. Thank you. Have a nice day. Got another quarter? Still out there, dog. I thought you said he's supposed to be gone. See, he is. This nigga out there playing goddamn this Pac Man, bruh. You said this is gonna be easy, dog. How long you think he finna be here? You don't know. I don't know. Walk in, get the money, then we good. G. That's what you said, D. G. If Keith them can do this shit, I know we can. Vincent, go on and get behind the counter. Let's do what we got to do. Y'all sure about this? I'm sure. All you got to do is go up to Vincent and get the money. I'm going to take care of the manager. You in or you out? Get your ass on the ground! Man, you niggas in love. 
lost y'all damn mind. Say, I'm telling you, dog, it's easy. Ain't like we really robbing the place anyway. All we gonna do is walk in, get the money, and when I'm still on probation for a $15 t-shirt, I teach on to kick my ass. I made a promise, dog. Not to mention my old man. Hell no. It's like being back on the field, dog. It's a trip. We walked into this one place, and the chick at the record said she knew us, right? Oh, so, so I asked her, what would you do if we was going to rob this place? She, she said, give you all the money and anything else you wanted. Anything. So D said, what are we robbing you, baby? <laughs> Dan wrote a phone number on one of the bills. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. It's nothing. Uh, What's up, fellas? <laughs> Man. Where your big ass bifocals at? It's nighttime. They're called contact lenses. They gotta work like glasses. <laughs> I'ma miss this fool. For real. I'ma miss you, dog. Got your ropes and everything. Hey, dog. Hey, G. <laughs> Take it easy, dog. Ropes and chains. What you getting into tonight? Yeah. Uh, chilling. Got a nine to five in the morning. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you tell your girlfriend we can't kick it tonight. <laughs> Boy, I'll spray you in the back of your head. There it go. All right, all right, man. Oh, man. Look, straight up. What you gonna do? Barbecue a meal, though. Do you know you can ask your mama for money whenever? See, you too, G. But you think I'm finna go to my mom's to ask for money to shake you niggas up in a dice game? <laughs> OPM, dog. OPM. Say, look. It's probably gonna be the last one. Is you in or you out? Last one? Damn, how many has it been? Asking too many questions, huh, boy? <laughs> Meet me at one if you down. Barbecue and meal do big boy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Come in. Hey, how you doing, son? I'm all right. I was uh I was driving by and I saw your truck. So um I thought I'd stop by and check on you. Hey, well, relax. Hey, you didn't stop by to apologize for something, did you? <laughs> no, sir. I guess you're uh, a little nervous about going off to school. Oh. You're gonna be okay. You made a good choice. Sir? You couldn't stay here forever, son. Listen. You just remember everything you learned and make room to learn more and stay humble. Stay humble inside. Appreciate it, Coach. They say we're going to have a better team next year. We'll see.
coach. Mm. I got it. I got it. Your defense is your offense. Now, good defense leads to an easy offense, which puts the offense in a better position. <laughs> uh -huh. it's, a, it's a mindset, coach. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. You can only defend something that you already possess. So the more the team believes they're already champions, they have already won in their mind and now have something to defend. Hence, defense wins championships. Drops license and insurance? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'm just tripping. <laughs> I want you to do me a favor. Will y'all sign this for me, please? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, got a, you have a pen on you, sir? Oh. Sorry about that. Here you go. <laughs> Carter High School, stay tuned. You're going to Tennessee, right? Yes, sir. The Vols. <laughs> and you're going to U of H. All right. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll be looking out for y'all, all right? So proud of you. Yeah, thank you. You're proud of the neighborhood. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. We all sir. proud of you. Yes, sir. Y'all have a good one, okay? Yes, sir. You too. Thanks.
Believe me, I'm not saying that the boys are not guilty of something. I just want to make sure that you know that these are not your typical aggravated robberies. Of course, I understand that boys will be boys. And you know you're much better suited to decide their fate than some emotional jury. The rule of law affects not only those involved, but those who observe. <laughs> Come on, Joe. You know we both know the rules of law. I just want to make sure that if my request for probation is nowhere close to where you're leaning, just give me an opportunity to prepare my client. That's all I'm asking you, Joe. Fair enough. They ring this doorbell one more time. Do they not have any consideration? I got it, baby. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. Coach James. Have any of your players told you why they If you press my drunk? doorbell one more time and disturb my wife, I promise you, that'll be the last microphone you ever hold. Today, here in my courtroom, you are nothing more than a bunch of common criminals. Criminals that went out and pulled guns on innocent, hard-working citizens. You terrified them, you took their money, and you did this because it was simply an easier way to obtain money than to actually go out and work for it. And even though you never shot or killed anyone, as defendants before this court, you communitively have committed in the last six months, more armed robberies than Bonnie and Clyde did in their entire life. When I call your name, would you please stand? Mr. Evans. Son, when it comes to violating the law, it simply doesn't matter that you can run a football down the field. And for the robberies you committed, I sentence you to four 20-year terms in the what? state no. in no. the state Department no. of Corrections, all to be served concurrently. Order in the courtroom. Order in this courtroom. I will have order. You don't do that. Order in the courtroom. No, that's my baby. Order my in this baby. courtroom. <laughs> Order, please, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, order in the court. Take my babies away. Yeah. Dead. Oh. Mr. Edwards, would you stand, please? For the robberies you have committed, I sentence you to three 16 year terms in the State Department of Corrections, all to be served concurrently. You may be seated. You may be seated, Mr. Campbell. Jason, do you have anything that you can tell us? Son, I believe you have some serious psychopathic tendencies, and frankly, you scare me. For that reason, I am sentencing you to four 25-year terms in the State Department of Corrections, all to be served concurrently. Be seated. Mr. Allen, for the robberies you have committed, I sentence you to three 13-year terms in the State Department of Corrections to be served concurrently. Be seated. Mr. Williams. 
of the robberies you committed, I sentence you to three 14-year terms in the State Department of Corrections, all to be served concurrently. Sometimes you can't trust nobody And it's hard to understand The people that you love the most Will knock you where you stand So you do all you can To take away the pain Cover it up with all the world has you to offer Until all you feel is shame And they'll kick you when you're down Make you feel like the sun won't shine Until you're not
made the right decision, but I have come to understand that one mistake or making an ill will decision not only affects that particular person, but it affects those that are around them as well. I can still hear the screams from the courtroom. I would never play ball again. Today when I look back, I'm proud of where I stand. But you have a choice not to make the same mistake that I did. Mama brought, brought, raised me and my brother in church. And one of the things I knew that I had to give my life to Christ in order for me to be able to stay out in order for that to be balanced because I was not going to go back. Actually, uh, a couple of years ago, I played in the NFL, and a lady would ask me to hold her baby, you know, and her husband was like, them guys you played with at Carter, they were some criminals one day. I'm like, they were identical to me, and you asked me to hold your baby. It wasn't no difference in me and them. I just made the right decision at the right time. If I would have got in that car at one time, then I would have got 20 years in the maximum security prison. And they were looking forward to trying to, to tie me in with something like that. Soda can. Yeah, I walk like Jesus inside my Bethlehem. When I step in the room, niggas know to stand. Understand? Last year, King's life, everybody hated him. They assassinated him. Then we celebrated him. Yeah, that's what them niggas did. Guess who sold his legacy? His fucking kids. They made us choose between fame and integrity. Friends or celebrities. Then they flashed them in in black light to steal your memories. I sold my soul to the dealership from an infinity. It didn't last forever, but it had all the amenities. Don't let the leeches steal your energy. Come on, gangster, that's your energy. Them niggas ain't the squad, them is frenemies. We can make the whole world bow to the symphony. No jail cell can contain me. No graveyard can hold me. No lie can stop me because I am somebody, somebody, somebody. No child I really matter. I am somebody, somebody, somebody. Down with it, can't quit it, ain't gonna turn around, cause I matter. I am somebody, somebody. Do it all, let nothing break your spirit. Your back, maybe, but never your spirit. Never your spirit. Never your spirit. I am somebody. Of the calicos, the groove with the band while the band play. Me, baby. Headed off to that sneak street for them drag races in that dice game. PK got the dice flame and keep it a cool with a nice thing. We hop on the bus and cowboys are us. We come just to bang. We hope there's a nurse. We hope there's a nurse. We hope there's a nurse. No need to go bus, homie. Stick to your lane. Yeah, you know who the came in it be. Stepping on the field that turf, we stepped on. Cold phone said we own it. They wanna hold it back. Coach James ain't never let us down. We coming with that a warning. And then after we gotta hit another lead, cause the riches, they just steady calling. And hold up, let me get back on it. <laughs> Eddie ain't caught a rake. Yeah, ready now we get a hurt. Ain't nobody better than us. Ask all us, we gotta rock that blue, that red. And say, huh, what it is, homie. Nobody get passes, they're not normal. And see, I see that we all for it. So let's get it on just like Marvin. Can I 
Cadillacs and Caprices, goes in the mouth. You don't know about the sound. <laughs> you don't know about the sound. Hey, hey, hey. I said it from the city of the tea, kind of lax and caprices, goes in the mouth, you don't know about the south. You don't know about the south. For these hoes, for these hoes.